What I'd like to run through today is a quick video of the basic settings for the tablet uh, on the PLC 400. From the home screen, we can access the settings on the right hand side here. Uh, we can also shortcut uh, across the top by using the image of the cogs settings. Also, if you're in any of the other screens, by pressing either the tablet, the image of the tablet, or the Wi Fi image it will shortcut to those particular settings. Start at the top we can see general settings include height, distance unit, uh, decimal format etc. Typically these are pre-determined uh, based on where the tablet is being shipped and sold. We don't use GPS for our um, current purposes for the PLT 300 or POS 180. Um, predictive search is an option where the tool will maintain the trajectory if it loses the prism. Um, pretty basic settings here in the general setting layout. Uh, it shows whether you want to show additional attributes for each element. Uh, auto zoom, typically we would have that off, makes it a bit more user friendly. Tolerance, uh, by standard I always set it at best, if you do have a little bit more um, flexibility in your layout then we can reduce that down to um, good or off or user defined. And then your tool and connection. Uh, you can choose your tool type. Typically, you'll only see PLT 300 or POS 15180. And depending on the different headings that you've connected to, it will show the serial number in here. You refresh it, it's not going to find any because I don't have a tool switch on at the moment. Uh, it will give you the, um, the serial number of the tool. And you can identify that serial number on the sticker in the corner on the bottom of the, the, the head unit. Auto connect, typically have that on and guide lights auto. Pressure, um, never really had to change this, may come into effect if you have very high altitude, very high temperatures. System info, pretty straightforward. Uh, previously in notes, you'll see that once and once only when you turn the tool on. And then support, we have a new feature in the version 3.0 where you can automatically connect to the remote support or data support. Um, so with remote support, it will bring up the screen for login 123, which is a feature being launched later in 2020. And for data support, if you do have technical issues, by pressing that shortcut, it will neatly package up all the relevant information um, for that fault to help our tech team to identify the problem and find a fix as quickly as possible. 